We are just hours away from Governor Lamont releasing his first proposal for the state budget. And tonight there are new clues as to what we might hear from the governor. Fox 61 political reporter Matt Karen talked to lawmakers on both sides of the aisle about what they want to see in the budget. He is live at the state capitol now with their comments. Matt? Well, Brent, you're not kidding when you say new clues. We just got a press release from the governor's office literally minutes ago where he is outlining some of the major structural changes that he wants to put in place in order to try and balance the budget. Now, we have to set the table here and tell you, of course, that Connecticut is facing a more than $2 billion budget deficit, and the governor has warned that his administration will not be defined by a fiscal crisis. So he did put out this release where he's talking about uh, reforming the state's two major pension systems and the state employee and retirement health benefits. Benefits. Uh, when it comes to the teacher's retirement system, he is proposing a restructuring to adjust required payments over 30 years, as well as proposing a cost sharing among cities and towns where each town or board of education would be responsible for 25% of the normally uh, of the normal pension cost paid on its behalf by the state. We also know from this uh, new email that the governor is interested in taxing digital downloads and certain streaming services. That is his attempt at expanding the sales tax base to generate some new revenue. Connecticut on the edge of a fiscal cliff, hours away from Governor Ned Lamont's plan to get back on solid ground. New taxes are on the table. Sugary drinks, plastic bags, vaping. It seems like we're uh we're planning on taxing everybody except uh, some of his friends in Greenwich, but we'll see what he has to say. And then there's tolls. Two proposals, all cars and just commercial trucks. We get to pay it twice. A, we get to pay the toll when we go through the toll on our way to work, and we get to pay the toll when everything that we buy uh, with that with, came on a truck gets more expensive. So it doesn't seem fair to me. All right, and uh, while not necessarily budget items, it certainly will be interesting to see if Governor Ned Lamont gets specific tomorrow about proposals that we know he supports, such as legalizing marijuana, raising the minimum wage, and offering paid family medical leave. He is scheduled to present that budget at noon tomorrow. Reporting live at the Legislative Office Building, in Hartford, Matt Karen. All right, Matt, thank you. Well, the comments keep coming in about tolls. We put this out to all of you as part of our Dear Lawmakers initiative, and the responses are flooding into the newsroom. Here are a few. Paul is against tolls in the state, and he writes, I'm retired and on a fixed income. Tolls on Connecticut highways will restrict my travel and force me to limit the visits I'm able to make to see my family. Diane writes, Dear Lawmakers, if you insist on tolls, then charge only out-of-state vehicles. She says Connecticut residents pay enough in taxes and have little to show for it. We also set out to ask drivers about their opinions on what many are calling a flip-flop from the governor on the tolls. Fox 61's Keith McGilvery got an earful from people in Wethersfield this morning. I think it's a bad idea. We're already taxed enough and there's going to be even more taxes on top of that when Ned brings it down on us. So, no, I don't think it's a good idea at all. Tolls will be... Uh an added burden to, I think, all the residents. Uh, I thought that it was supposed to be limited to potentially out-of-state residents or, or trucks, so I'm a little surprised. What's your reaction? I don't know. Our taxes are high enough. I don't, I'm not on board. Don't do it. <laughs> Just don't do it. Not going to be worth it. 